What's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope here and uh, it's a beautiful Friday, Nebraska summer morning. Weather has been absolutely amazing. We did get a big thunderstorm last night, which, you know, made things a little soupy out here. Oh, it's gonna make it a little messy when we take these chickens to uh, Duncan's to be processed. And, uh, but we'll get through it. We're gonna load them up in the back of the truck this morning. And I'm gonna go show you guys where uh, Cog Hill gets his chickens. So come on along. So we're gonna put some wood chips down, <clears throat> try to minimize this mess that's gonna make in the back of this truck. Because uh, we gotta put coolers back here when we're done. Perfect. Yep, that's gonna work. Thanks, bud. Yep. I just hope we can fit all these birds in the back of my pickup truck. <laughs> these birds are pretty big and they're heavy. Oh, you gotta run away. We've got a runner. We got a runner. Go! Oh! Freeze, sir! Freeze! I have come to the point where uh, I let the, the help do all the heavy lifting around here. We were counting them and we got. Off a little bit, we came to 78 with like five left. <laughs> yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we 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 got a little off count, so we just decided like, ah, we got we got enough. I definitely think it's gonna be crowded back there. I definitely. I don't even want to try to explain the smell down here after the thunderstorm that we had last night and everything's all wet it's uh it hits, hits you right here in the back of the throat if you know what i mean don't throw up you guys you be sure for me if you guys do me a favor tell mom to cook me some uh some fried chicken all right tell mom tell me tell mom to cook me some fried chicken fried chicken right there yeah my son, he loves fried chicken too, so if you guys do us a favor, comment down in the bottom, say, Melissa, cook them boys some fried chicken. Definitely gonna deserve some fried chicken after this. Run, buddy, run! Now these chickens, they, uh, they're, they're big, but they're not huge. I'm gonna put them around five pounds, four or five pounds. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Oh, we got some last meals going on right there. That's the final meal. Walk away. That's kind of fun. Your hair is blown in the wind like some shampoo commercial. Yeah. They've got one chicken left to load up. And I think he, uh, there's plenty of room back there. I'll show you when they load this last one up. You do. Oh, oh, gotcha. Alright, not too bad, not too bad, alright, shut her down, make sure I don't pull the fence away when I pull away, okay, okay well, next stop, Duncan Poultry, well, we're here, we're at Duncan's Poultry, I just love coming to this place guys this place is just so amazing and for those who don't know and are new to the channel this is where Jason over at Cog Hill Farms he gets all his feeder chickens from here well he did at least for a long time I don't know if he's doing them anymore but yeah this is the place he bought them from and I lived right down the road from it the whole time so I thought that was kind of cool but this place is just awesome they've got like an old time gas station fix-it shop I see that it's not open maybe he'll they got time to let us uh check it out but what i love is going inside this store so let's go inside the store farming supply store a co-op feed they've got everything you could think of for taking care of chickens everything i need one of these things yeah 
$20. Those work for goats, too. How much is it? $11. Exactly. Well, we can buy it. And they got little cool tools. Look at that. You grab chicken's feet. Yeah, you can grab chicken's feet with that. A lot easier. We're going to use that. A lot of different style feeders. Someday, we're going to wind up uh, purchasing some of these boxes here. We just haven't gotten there yet. The ones we have are wood. They're working for now, but we'd love to get some of these boxes uh, over at our place because they're, they're really good quality. That and I just like the look of them. And they come with a cool sticker. There's all kinds of cool stuff to look at here. Yeah. You guys took a look at the outside yet? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's go take, they haven't looked at the outside yet. Let's go take a peek outside. You think they got any Cokes in there or sodas? Probably not. Probably got a couple Pepsis in there. Oh, no, they're they're fresh out, bud. I think they're selling for 10 cents, and that's probably why they got that's crazy. sold for 10 cents, why they ran out so fast. Let's go see your pup. My son, uh, daughter, daughter's not here with us right now. She uh, She's at grandma's, but they love coming and seeing that their, their dog here and petting the dog, rubbing his belly. I'm not sure where he's at though. He had a bite somewhere. Did you find him? Oh, there's a doggy. Come here. Hi. Hi. Come here. Oh, you're so fluffy. You're so fluffy. I love you, doggy. <laughs> That's all he eats. He says, I eat nothing but chicken, chicken, and more chicken. <laughs> so, right there is their poultry processing center. Ugh. I don't know why I can have trouble saying that today. What's real interesting is what they built behind it. So, they have a USDA certified processing sit, uh, facility right here. The only problem is, is, uh, they're not operational just yet because there's a lot of tape that goes along with uh, processing birds underneath the USDA stamp. Uh, and actually, I think it's a, a state USDA stamp, however that works. And I know they've been having some issues with it as far as, uh, you know, the price that it costs to uh, obtain that certification and maintain a, a government official or state official to be on site while they process birds. So it comes with a little bit of higher cost. But in Nebraska, from where I'm at, I need that certification to be able to sell to the public um, a frozen bird for my freezer that's marketed, weighed, and certified, so I'm all legit. Right now, it's just family and friends, so once they get that straightened out, that processing fees are probably going to cost double, maybe triple what they are now, but then I'll be able to sell a meat bird for... You know 16 18 dollars a bird when i get that stamp right now we just do the the mom and pop processing there's no stamp it's just from my feeders my home they're processing to bag back to my freezer so there's no uh required regulations when it comes to this now trust me their uh their facility is a super clean facility Everything around here is in pristine shape. I just everything around here is awesome. You're not gonna you're not gonna find more of a family owned business than Duncan's poultry. That dog loves it when we show up this time of year. <laughs> don't he? Don't ya? I get all the pets. I get all the pets. Who's that? <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna come see me now, huh? Huh. The only bummer is, is they took out the scale that I saw. They used to have a scale there. And it's gone now. So I'm not going to really know what my finish weight is until I get my receipt. <laughs> so I can tell you that Duncan Poultry... This is where we buy our chickens every year. We did try out some of those uh, farm stores like Bomb Guards, Tractor Supply, those kind of places. They're okay, but I really get my best yields from uh, the place that they get their hatchery from. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if they run their own hatchery. I think they do, but they, uh, they do a bulk deal. So what I do is I buy as many chickens as I want, obviously, and then they sell you the feed along with those chickens. They measure it all out and they do all the math for you. 
So they tell you exactly how much feed you need and it's a package deal. And then you bring the processing over and you know exactly what you're paying for and what you're getting. Um, they bag their own feed here. They obviously have a couple facilities here. And uh, they, just, they just do a really good job. I really like the, the chickens that they use because like I said, 85 birds I purchased, two died. Two of them died from uh, natural causes. Uh, there's been times where I bought 25 birds from like tractor supply or a bomb guards type store and I've had five, six of them die off. My buddy uh, was just recently telling me that I think they had eight die off of the 15 that they bought just for themselves for raising up uh, for them to eat. And that's, that's actually ridiculous. Another friend of mine, they said they lost 50% of their birds because of genetic defects. So remember, when you guys buy your birds, buy them from a reputable deal dealer. So if you guys are interested in buying chicks or mail ordering any of these kind of chicks, they're actually doing their, uh, their winter special, their fall special. So what you do is, sorry, I just got all kinds of stuff in my mouth and I can't pull it out because my hands are nasty. So if you guys are interested in getting any chicks, I'm going to put their link down in the bottom of the video. You can see uh, on their website, they're running the August special, which, uh, you know, that brings you into the October, November time frame for uh, processing. And it's kind of the best time of year to do that kind of stuff because the weather's cool and you don't have as many complications you would have normally with raising and uh, these meat birds because these meat birds, man, they, they create a big mess. I mean, it's a big bird that generate a lot of heat. They can get stressed out in the summertime. I do mine because I live in a, in a well shaded area and it's fairly cool because I live down in the valley. So I'm not really too concerned about it. But honestly, this is the best time of year to start raising your meat birds. And like I said, they're running a special right now. You can buy these birds for like a buck 15 a piece if you purchase the food with them too. So I know that they probably can work something out for shipping, but if you're local, you can definitely get a package deal. And even if you don't buy the food, they still have a really good price, especially with the genetics that they're using for these meat birds, these Cornish Cross, it's phenomenal. You have very minimal die off. Uh, I've even mail ordered these birds and still didn't have any issues. So I'd suggest ordering them up, hit that link down below. Now we're gonna get ready to start packing these things up. Cause I think they're about done processing. We just load all these chickens up. I don't know how this count got off but they said that we finished out 81 birds. Now their scales broke, so we didn't get a scale uh, readout on the yields that we got. Excuse me. But we got two full, cool full coolers and we had to actually put a, some in a tub with ice on top of it. 81 birds, guys, 81 80. birds. Yeah, we thought we had 80, so maybe they snuck one in there extra just for uh, you know, being nice, he gave us 80 some birds because I purchased 85. I think there might have been next one in there because I never counted them on the way out. All right, well, we're gonna get paid for and I'll let you know the cost here in a second. Well, we're back, chickens are unloaded. I've got one heck of a mess to clean up back here. We've got the coolers in the garage. I'm getting ready to actually start cutting these chickens up and package them individually so we can put them in the freezer. So we can just have like a little fried chicken kits that we can pull out. And we came out about $289 for processing 81 birds. I don't know what the poundage is, but that stuff was extremely heavy. So the birds were nice and fat. So here's the kicker. My son, he took care of these chickens through and through. The only thing I really did was set up the area and just set them up for success. He uh, got up in the mornings on his summer vacation. He let them out in the morning. He fed them, he watered them, he put them away at night. I mean, it, he did everything. He even, he unloaded everything. He, the boy, he did all the work. So don't think that I did all this work. My son, he did all this work. And for doing so, I had a little surprise for him. He didn't know this until uh, we were driving home after processing these chickens, but I told him every chicken that we sell, he'll get to keep the profit. So. We're looking at selling, I don't know, probably 40 chickens at $10 a piece, which is fairly cheap by the way, but that's money in his pocket. So he learned a great lesson without even knowing it. So he wasn't motivated during this whole process 
to uh, just do what was right because he wanted to make money. He was doing it because he was being told to do it and he wanted to contribute and he was doing his part because this obviously this feeds our family. And that was another kicker is I told him, it's like, you realize when we sit down to eat dinner, you're gonna, you're gonna sit down in front of that plate of food and you're gonna realize that you raise this food from chicken to processing, you had every part to do with a meal in front of you until we start teaching them how to fry chicken and cook dinner. <laughs> but that will come later. So yes, he's gonna keep all the profits from selling the chickens uh, from the ones we do sell. And uh, I got a lot of work to go clean that stuff up. But just remember this one tip. Good things come to those who believe. Better things come to those who are patient. And the best things come to those who don't give up. So a little motivation for you guys. Don't give up. If you got something that you want to do, jump into it. You got to do it eventually. Otherwise, life ain't worth living. So... <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Hey.